What do you think the number one thing that is a mistake that new agents make? Well, I think there's several. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'd say the number one, in my opinion, is probably being a lot of agents like can't get in front of people or they don't know the best way to get in front of people or they try all sorts of different things. I try Facebook leads, I try direct mail, I try yeah. this, I try that. Just figure out one thing. And that's one thing that I tell agents a lot of times, like they, agents are, <laughs> they try and make it harder than it really is. Yeah. Like, let me, uh, I gotta figure out all these different things. No, screw that. Just go yeah. figure one thing that's really good that you can do, whether yeah. it's knocking on doors, whether it's calling people, whether it's doing seminars, go figure out one thing and then just go beat the heck out of it. You can tell when the way you speak, like you have a lot of passion for the industry. Yeah. You believe in what you sell. And if you believe, that's, that's a limiting belief holds a lot of agents back. Like if you believe in what you sell, mm -hmm. you shouldn't worry about what people are gonna think when you ask them. All right, today I'm excited to bring another power player to the mix and interview with my brother-in-law, one of my good buddies, Mr. Matthew Allen Smith. Dude, I even hey, used hey, your middle name. There you man. go. You know me better than most people. That's true, man. That's I like true. that. His social is, yeah, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Matt's done an unbelievable job with helping new agents succeed, um, recruiting operations, et cetera, and is a partner in Secure Insurance Group. And I really wanted to have him on to share his experience, because we, we, have a, we have a ton of new agents that start watching our content, that struggle with prospecting, getting in front of people, closing business, mm -hmm. cross-selling, a lot of different things. Um, what's, what's the, I mean, because I asked you the question earlier, and, and I, I loved your answer, so I'd love for you to share it. What do you think the number one thing that is a mistake that new agents make? Well, I think there's several. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'd say the number one, in my opinion, is probably being spread too thin. Yep. Uh, I think uh, a lot of new agents try and know everything, and they're like a jack of all trades but a master of none. Yes. They they want to know how to sell Medicare and life insurance and annuities and yep. everything. When uh, honestly, figure out one, figure out two, and really do well at that, That's right. uh, and then learn the rest as time goes. I was talking with a new agent the other day, and he, he's got some annuity prospects. And I said just. Don't worry about that. Like, yep. have somebody else help you with that. Exactly. Uh, and and go out there and just do do the rest really well. So I think spreading yourself too thin can be uh, a problem. Yeah. And that, that's a really good point, too, because a lot of people are going to be like, okay, this is my niche. I'm really good at this, right, which is what you've done well. But I've got this person that asked me about this random thing that I know nothing about. Well, there's no reason to spend two weeks, like – reading up on it and educating yourself because who knows if they will even take the appointment or even buy it and then you wasted two weeks and you could have been selling other stuff. Absolutely. That's what we love to do locally is, okay, partner with someone yep. that is an expert at that. They get a better chance of closing the business anyway, yeah. right? You'll end up doing a commission split or something. Rather 50% uh, of 10,000 than 100% of zero. That's right. <laughs> totally, totally. That math, it does add up. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I didn't major uh, in math, but... You know. Yeah. What, what, why do you think... Um, a lot of agents struggle with, or why do you think they spread themselves too thin? Like, it, like why do you think that happens? I think, I, well, I think another thing, and I think to answer yeah. your question is, is I think they're not seeing enough people, and they're they're trying to to maximize that, and they're, and they're just not seeing enough people. And yep. so, uh, when you're not seeing enough people, you don't have enough prospects. Yeah. And so, I think that's a, a another huge issue that agents have and new agents especially yeah what's some of the unique things that, that secure does that, that you guys do that, that help um agents see more people because you got you got some unique things yeah, that got, work really well so we've got a lot of uh like we we've got a really good discounted lead program uh so we do that really well uh we help agents with seminars uh, yes. and i'm sure people have probably heard your dad talk yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and several other people but but seminars we do seminars really well we do uh, online webinars uh, and we've we've kind yep. of mastered those yeah, uh, so we do sure. a lot of really unique things uh, through uh, discounted leads through uh, direct mail uh, helping yes. our agents with direct mail through seminars and through some online webinars yeah. uh, or some of the most unique ways I think I've even seen my dad actually go to um, a different state yeah. to do web sem seminars yeah Four people. So we'll so we'll bring on new agents, and uh, these agents, uh, you know, they're they're comfortable speaking for people. They're 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 good, and they know Medicare and things like that. But uh, we've truly mastered it. I mean, it's yeah. it's pretty much down to a science. I can kind of give you some numbers if you want. But sure, uh, there's 
it's a science at this point. We figured yeah. it out. And so, uh, so basically a lot of times Brian will bring on new agents and he'll go to him. Like he's gone to, I know, Mississippi, Illinois, Pennsylvania. He just offered to go uh, to Georgia. Just offered to go to Georgia the other day. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. actually will be going to Georgia. Yeah. Texas, really? Texas, Texas, Oklahoma, uh, wow. there's probably half a dozen more, but, uh, he'll, he'll travel to those States and, and do those events and help out and things like that and, and teach those agents how to do it. Uh, and then obviously he's not splitting any commission or anything, sure. but, uh, just, he wants you to be successful. So right. that's probably one thing that's unique about Brian and unique about secure really yeah. is, is, is Brian's, he just, he wants people to be successful. And, and so, uh, he'll do, he's committed to success. Yeah. And so I think that's proven by he'll go to Georgia and do a seminar for that's you. True. <laughs> he, he will give, there's no doubt about that. Absolutely. Yeah. He, he gives, uh, almost, I'm like, dude, you got to slow down. You're giving too much, you know, <laughs> giving, giving secrets. all away. Uh, <laughs> but, but he does that. That's really why people are attracted to him and oh, yeah. SIG and you oh. guys. Um, and what's the what's the third thing? Okay, so we talked about okay, spread yourself too thin. If you're taking notes right now, you got to be taking these notes, right? Because you're probably spreading yourself too thin, right? Because you don't have a niche, right? You're probably struggling to get in front of people. You know, sounds like it sounds like this dude can help, right? And what's really some other things that are mistakes that new agents make? Uh, well, I think that the next thing that new agents do is is they they you have a it's like, it's like it's like a fear of, yeah like a fear you know, of of just not knowing everything yeah and so basically like. Uh, you're going to not know something. Somebody's going to ask you a question that you won't know the answer to. Yeah. I could stump you on something, but right. you don't have to know everything. Mm -mm. Do people have a fear of like, oh, crap, I don't know 100% yes. of all the questions I could be asked. I don't want to go make that phone call or make the door yeah. knock or whatever. Just go do it. And yeah. then if you don't know, ask somebody. You yeah. know, ask, ask, ask an upline. Ask a, another agent. Ask somebody. Right. Uh, and I think that's the third mistake agents make all the time. It's just a fear of thinking, oh, crap, I... I I it's don't true. know. What, what? So true. And, 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 and I think prospects also, they can smell BS, I guess. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they know when you, to be honest, don't say, know. hey, yeah. I, you know, that's a great question. I really don't know the answer. Let me get you the answer. And then go back and get the answer, but call that person back. Yes. And I think, I think that builds credibility with the person as well. It really clients. does. I'm glad you said that. A lot of people say that a lot of people preach like fake it till you make it, right? And I'm not a fan of that because you, you people can feel when oh, you yeah. fake it. Oh, yeah, for sure. I respect so, that. So go get the answer and then get yes. back to them. Yes. I think they, they respect that. So Love that. Um, so those are probably the three biggest mistakes that I would say agents make, new agents make. Right, for sure. And and if you're out there watching, you're like, man, I don't want to make those mistakes anymore. You know, well, you, you can eventually get better at those specifically. Um, wh why Medicare? You, you've always had a kind of a kind of drawn to Medicare. It's been a niche that's SIG Secure Insurance Group is, is is really strived at. Mm -hmm. um, you you personally saw hundreds of pros of clients during AEP yeah. this year. <laughs> um, you are managing, I don't even know, three, four, five thousand Medicare clients now. Five thousand. Yeah. Five thousand Medicare <laughs> clients. It's a lot. You know, yeah. accounting life or anything else. Yeah, it's insane. Uh, uh, kind of what drew drew me to it. I would say uh, I really like the residual income. So yep. I think that's number one. Uh, number two, just helping people. Like uh, I think. There's a lot of times that, and I know that you're a life guy, and there's a lot of life yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. I, I yeah. like life, but so he hates me now. I, I hate Cody. Yeah, I hate all of them. <laughs> uh, but I enjoy Medicare. I enjoy feeling yeah. like I'm helping that person. Uh, it's it's honest to goodness. It's it's probably a little easier than the life side of things. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but that's okay. You know. For sure. I'm a Medicare guy. I can say it. Yeah. But, yeah you're right. Uh, but but it it I truly enjoy helping people. I truly enjoy like I'm building something. Uh, yes. Like you know if you want to make a hundred thousand bucks. How do you do that? Well, in life, you got to go beat the pavement. You got to go knock on yes. doors. You got to go do stuff. And every January, it starts over. You know, if I want to make a hundred grand, if I want to do that with Medicare. You know, I mean, I can get you a three-year plan exactly. <laughs> pretty easily. You know, a couple of years, you're making a hundred grand, and, and it's all residual income. You know, which is crazy to think. Like that's what's so attractive about about insurance is yeah. you can literally, within two to three years, yeah. have a six-figure renewal income. Absolutely. You wake up, six a.m. Let me drink some coffee. I think I just made. Uh, what is that? Five hundred bucks today? Because that's because that's two grand a week, eight yep. grand a month. Oh, I just made six figures. There you, you know? go. Yep. Or hey, I went on vacation and I still made money. <laughs> the yeah. office is still there. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's so. pretty rare. Oh, absolutely. Um, how 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 did you get into it? Well, so <laughs> I had uh, I I knew somebody. I knew some people. No. Yeah. I uh, uh, basically I have just married in really. Yeah, pretty much. No, I had a I have a background in law enforcement, so uh, yeah. I went to school to be a policeman and and decided you know. I don't really know that I want to be on the side of the road at three in the morning, you know, with the drunk guy. I'd rather, yeah. you know, be at home with my wife and my kids. But for so, sure. so, anyways, uh, I knew you these can guys. say kids now too. I can't with, say kids. With, with, with the, you know, we just had our second. We yeah. just had our second. So, yeah. 
but uh, but yeah, so so got got with got with these guys and was dating your sister and thought yeah, you know right. it'd be it'd be a good thing. I think I could do it. So no doubt. Yeah, and you've you've done very well too. Well, thanks. You know? Thanks. And 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 what what would you say is like okay? Um, I focused on this. If you're you, I, I yeah. focused on this. And that's why I was able to succeed early on in a mm. very difficult industry where 92% will fail. I mean, I'm speaking to a, a conference in, in the Philippines to 5,000 agents. Oh, cool. Well, statistically, 4,200 of them, 4,100 of them are going to fail. Yeah. That's insane. Oh, it's... But you were able to succeed at a high level and continue to succeed and continue to do more as you continue to run operations mm-hmm. and everything mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. Um why were you able to make it? I would say one. I, I would say a lot of agents like can't get in front of people, or yeah. they don't know the best way to get in front of people, or they try all sorts of different things. I try Facebook leads, I try direct mail, I try yeah. this, I try that. Just figure out one thing, and that's one thing that I tell agents a lot of times. Like they, agents are, <laughs> they try and make it harder than it really is. Yeah. Like let me, uh, I got to figure out all these different things. No, screw that. Just go yeah. figure one thing that's really good that you can do. Whether yeah. it's knocking on doors, whether it's calling people, whether it's doing seminars, go figure out one thing and then just go beat the heck out of it. Go, I mean, I've heard you do the math and, and stuff before. You know, yeah. how many doors do I need to knock on? How many f- phone calls do I need to make? How many whatever? Right. That's what you do. Yeah. I mean, you, you you figure out, okay, how many pieces of direct mail do I need to buy? How many, you know, and, and so I think that was it. Just figure out one thing that I'm good at or a couple yeah. things that I'm good at and just maximize those i remember us calling leads together at, yeah. at night on um like five years ago yeah. you know where we're on the sag side just calling <laughs> making calls at eight o'clock at night you right know? right um is there any reason short of a what was it uh, a nuclear bomb on why you wouldn't be there boom boom that, that he's that's, a closer <laughs> that's the lockdown question man that's it so so when you're setting an appointment he just brought it up so we'll teach on it yeah, right there you, go. you you you're 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 you just set the appointment you've agreed yeah. on a time is there any reason short of a nuclear bomb why you wouldn't be there Friday at two, right? And that's the lockdown to get people to do. I say, well, actually, you're right. I do have a doctor moment. Like, if you're going to find out, you want to know now, so so that they stand, that they don't stand you up and they show up, and then um, that's how you get in, to improve your appointment setting rate. I think we did zombie apocalypse too once. Probably, <laughs> probably, probably threw all kind of crazy stuff yeah, in there. Yeah, right. You know, but but it works. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. A lot of that little stuff, you absolutely. know. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, what's the now that you're starting to help a lot of new agents? Yeah. We have, a, we have a new agent program here mm-hmm. at SIG in Springfield where we're bringing on agents and helping them get in front of, you know, um, webinars and leads, yeah. seminars and all that kind of stuff. Um, what's some of the things that are some of the systems that you've been able to implement or helped implement that have that have helped some of those new agents find success, mm-hmm. um, made it easier for those that are new to the business, and have really put some of those systems in place to help them? have a smoother transition the first couple of years. Yeah, so we, we've really worked a lot on cross-selling opportunities. Cross-sell when you can. It's yeah. <laughs> who's easier? Who's the easiest person to sell something to? That's Somebody right. that's already bought. That's you know, right. work on cross-selling. You know, work on uh, just kind of what I said earlier on, on maximizing on, on like, figuring out what you're good at, what you enjoy. You know, yeah. uh, we've got some LOAs and we basically, we we uh, we gave them some Facebook leads, we gave them some direct mail, gave them yeah. all sorts of different types of leads and we said, well, figure out what you like, you know. Uh, and Which is good because not everyone, I like that you said that, because not everyone watching right now is going to do and enjoy doing the exact same thing. Like I didn't mind door knocking. Yeah. A lot of people don't like to door knock, yeah. you know. They don't really want to door knock. I didn't mind it, you know. So I like that because we've got like, um, you're right, because you, you, you're, you're managing agents where there's door knockers, mm-hmm. there's cold callers, yep. people that only do seminars, people that are managing webinars, people yeah. that are doing Facebook, like Facebook leads, but other people hate Facebook leads. Some like direct mail, some that don't. Uh, some that are working more one market more than others. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so you, yeah. More market's huge. More market's huge for sure. Speak on that, because I felt like you did a really good job of that as a new agent. Most yeah. people don't. Ask Why everyone did... you know. Yeah. <laughs> People are afraid of that. Uh, Ty. Ty did a great job of that Phenomenal. as well. Ty probably did a better job than I did. But He probably did a better job <laughs> than I did too. Yeah. But, I mean, ask everybody you know. Your, yeah. your mom, your dad, your mother's aunt's Why? cousin. Because they like you. Yeah. They need insurance. They know they need insurance. They need life insurance. They need Medicare. They need whatever you're selling. Yeah. They probably already own Why it. Why not help you? They already own it. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. They know they need it. They probably already own it. They like you. Yes. They'll buy it from you. Yeah, and, it, and, and especially it, but, if you got a great product. I mean, totally. Doesn't, doesn't it make you know? 
that that shows that you believe in it. Absolutely. You know? Like Absolutely. Y- y- you can tell when the way you speak, like you have a lot of passion for the industry. Yeah. You believe in what you sell. Absolutely. And if you believe that, that's a limiting belief holds a lot of agents back. Like if you believe in what you sell, mm-hmm. you shouldn't worry about what people are going to think when no. you ask them. No. It's it, then you're not really selling anything either. You yeah. know, you're uh, it's 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 just natural. Yeah. You know? Totally yeah. agree. Um what were some of the things that you did? Speaking on warm market, right, and working yeah. working warm market. What are some of the things that you did early on? Was it a, maybe it was a hit list? Maybe it was a um, call, go for coffee. Maybe it was a phone yeah. call. Like, what were some of the things that you did that maybe were outside the box yeah. that someone can learn from if they're wanting to go immediately mm-hmm. help people that they love? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think a couple things. I think well, like dad, mom. That was sure. just like, hey. That was the hardest. By this, <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. But uh, I talked with you. Well, and they already owned it. Yeah, I guarantee absolutely. it. It might as well own, you might as well be the agent. Absolutely, on it. absolutely. But one thing that was kind of unique uh, that I got from you and Dallas, actually. Yeah. Uh, Dallas kept a list. He called it a hit list, a rolling 100. Yes. Uh, everybody that guy talked to yep. would be on a sheet of paper. And, and whether Phenomenal it was at it. <laughs> the pastor of his church, his, yes. whoever came and repaired I've his I've stolen whatever. that Rolling 100 from oh, really? him yeah. and, and taught on it and oh, okay. given yeah. him credit several times because it's brilliant. Oh, it's brilliant. Everybody, yeah. and, and, and as soon as they buy, cross them off, put somebody else on the list. Exactly. You know, and I think that's phenomenal. And especially if you're a new agent and you know don't have a lot of money for leads or don't have you know whatever. Yeah. You know people. You yeah, know yeah, somebody. Yeah. You know it's the That's right. pizza place you go all the time. I got I sold a policy at the pizza place the other day just eating lunch. You Seriously? Know, just, yeah, we go there all the time. And, and the lady came up and was like, you're the Medicare guy, right? Boom. Yeah, okay, how about that? Who, 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 who wants to be sitting at lunch? Like, you're the you're the dude that uh, helps everyone through Medicare, I think. Didn't really think, yeah. But 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 same thing with the with the Rolling 100. You yeah. go places, you know people. Put That's them right. on your list. Make sure they know what you do and you'll and close them. We are creatures of habit. You yeah. frequent pizza joints. I go to the same four restaurants around the office yeah, I know. <laughs> every too. day. Yeah. Lauren and I eat at Haruno twice a week. Yep. Sushi joint right down the street. Yep. You know, I mean, yep. it's just, it's crazy. Well, mine's Chick-fil-A. But <laughs> there you go. I had Chick-fil-A today. <laughs> yeah, me too. You know? Actually. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, actually, in Tuesday's barbecue day, but, but we had Chick-fil-A instead. Yeah. Um, what, what's some of the things that um, you really have learned mm-hmm. that you've seen um, that you would like to educate on or help with or mention while we're doing this now? Well, I think probably I kind of, I'd like to come back to kind of what I said earlier. Yep. I am, when I told you the three things that, that new agents constantly screw up on. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm pretty sure I did all three of them probably worse than anybody, <laughs> but especially like I'm the kind of person I want to know every single thing about everything. Yes. A lot, a lot of people that, have that personality. That was honestly my biggest struggle starting yeah. out was, was well, and I think I probably annoyed you when I first started out and everybody <laughs> else in my family because they all do insurance. But yeah. but what what do I say if this person asked me this question? Well, well, and, and you would always be like, tell me you don't know. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Figure it out later. And so for me, that was my biggest struggle of, mm-hmm. of just not knowing, you know, yep. and, or, and not knowing everything that there yep. was to know. Uh, but that, uh, I think what I did that, that, I just found out stuff that I enjoyed and I just kept doing it, you know? Yes. Uh, so I, I love that you mentioned that too, because, um, there's a, I would say a, a lot of insurance agents are the yeah. exact same way. Mm-hmm. Um, how did you get over that? Because some, some of them are struggling with that. Yeah. That's holding them back a little mm-hmm. bit. How mm-hmm. did you get over it to where now you're like, yeah, oh, whatever. I don't care. That's I pretty much just decided. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> You know, like I'll learn it, you know, but, yeah. but, uh, I, I spent a lot of time learning stuff and, and learning about different policies and things like that. But, yep. but, uh, also just that mindset that you just said of, of, you know, Hey, it is what it is. You right. Know, if, if I don't know the answer to something, I'm not going to pretend like I do. Yeah. You know? Uh, where, where, where does that come from? Um, maybe it's parents, childhood up, upbringing, you know, like you're, the last thing you're ever going to do is lie to somebody. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And I definitely think, yeah, upbringing for sure. Um, I also think one thing that new agents also do, and, and not to hijack sure, your interview, please, but please. Uh, one thing that I think new agents do is they get like, oh my gosh, I have to sell this policy. And they get like really stressed out and amped up yeah. and to the point where like prospects can feel you. Yeah, yeah. And, and they feel when you're uncomfortable and they, they don't want to so buy from that person. so much pressure on themselves. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They don't want to buy from that person. Mm. So one thing that, and this is, I just thought about, one thing that I really learned was, 
I don't give a freak if you buy the policy or not. You know, like I, wow. I, I remember the house I was sitting in when I, I, my mind shift, mindset shifted. Uh, I was sitting there and it was, if you're a Medicare agent, I was trying to sell this lady a dual plan, mm. which was by far the best thing this lady could have ever bought. Yeah. And doesn't cost her anything, gets her a ton of free benefits, whatever. Well, I'm sitting there and her and her daughter are grilling me on this dual plan on why it's a good thing and all the other stuff. And I don't know really why I said what I said or did what I did, but I said, I don't care if you buy it or not. Just tell, you know, it's the best thing for you. I really don't care if you take it or not. I'm going to walk to my car and pass three other people that want this. We're at a senior housing. Uh, And I think that was when it was like, oh, you know, I just, it was confidence. And so I think a lot of new agents lack confidence uh, and and they feel like, oh my gosh, I have to make this sale. You you don't, you know, just go out there and and, and be relaxed, be calm and and sell it. So uh, I think that's something else too, you know. That's uh, good. Just agents are, are, they lack confidence and then they, you know, people, yeah. people feel that. So we have, we're, we're afraid a lot of times that we're going to lose the cell mm-hmm. and you just demonstrated something to where lose the cell on your own terms, yeah. you know, like, it, and, and a lot of times too, I bet they stopped asking as many questions because yeah. they're probably like, this dude's really Crap. just trying to help us. He doesn't even care. I sold an annuity one time and I'm not an annuity guy by any stretch of the yeah. imagination, but but I was selling an annuity once, biggest case to date that I'd ever sold. I literally was having lunch with a, a prospect and her mom, or a prospect and her daughter, and I said, "Look, just don't waste my time. Are you interested or are you not? If you are, I'd love to be able to help you. If not, that's cool too, but just don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. It's the biggest sale I've ever made. I, I kind of got some of that Whoa. stuff from you where it was yeah, just yeah. like, just be confident with it. It was the best thing for this lady, you know, and, and so I think confidence is a big thing too. Oh, dude, it's huge, man. The prospect feels it. It <laughs> gives you some small confidence. When yeah. you're able to say stuff like that and yeah. then walk out after making a sale, you know, and, oh, absolutely. and uh, I think it's awesome. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of new agents need to be more confident for sure. Yeah. What's some of the things that they can do um, that you did? Mm-hmm. You know, and it's probably, obviously it's learning, it's trial and error, it's experience. But what's yeah. some of the things that you've you that helped your confidence yeah. when you didn't, maybe didn't have as much of it as you do now? Well, just, I guess just trying not to get discouraged. People are gonna say no. People yeah. are gonna not buy the policy. People are gonna whatever. Just don't let that crap get you down. Just that's good. Get back on the horse. Just keep going. Keep talking to somebody. <laughs> Eventually, someone will say yes. Yeah. Eventually, somebody's gonna buy something from you. Just keep asking. You're not, you know, asking the right questions. Keep getting in front of people. Mm. See more people. Right. You know, uh, I think you always say 15 people a week or whatever. That's right. That's what you need to do, at yes, least. You, know, you really do. Unless it's AEP and it's like 100 people a week. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, um, what made you initially want to get into law enforcement as a kid? Is it just uh, random side note? Probably, I don't know. I always... Playing cops and robbers, I always want to be the good guy. Okay. Maybe TV shows. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but, uh, it was it was good. I uh, I got a four year degree in, in criminal justice, and I always joke with clients and tell them, you know, this job's fun. Probably not as much fun as being a policeman would be. Probably not. You know, I don't get to tackle somebody today, That's so right. it's kind of frowned upon in this business. But yeah, but this one a little bit more you money. You have to do and, that and in the insurance bit. business. Yet, no, right? I've not yeah. tackled a prospect Weird. yet. Eventually, maybe an agent. Yeah, yeah maybe right. Dallas. Right, right, you know? right. But uh, but yeah, so uh, love what I do and and uh, awesome. wouldn't rather do anything else. That's so, phenomenal. Yeah, well, you can feel your passion. Yeah. I've seen you you grow as a business person the last several years. It's been amazing to see. Um, and you're doing some big stuff. Anything Thanks, else buddy. you want to share uh, before we close it out? Just be confident. Don't be scared. And keep seeing people. Boom. Yeah. I love it. You're in here first. Matt, thank you for your time, bro. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Go be confident. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Hey, there's five words right now you should never say. You got to stop saying. Promise me you'll stop saying them. Well, dude, I don't know what the words are. Over the next few minutes, you'll know, and you will never use them again. All right, number one. Okay, number one. And, and, and as I preface why we're going into this,